Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today we continue to build decks around the new legendary creatures from Bloomboro. Though this deck hasn't been requested, the commander caught my eye, so I thought we'd build something fun and budget. Also, and I know it's annoying to keep hearing this, but statistically if I don't ask you to like and subscribe, the video gets fewer subscribers. Wick the World Mind is a 4 mana 2 4 legendary rat warlock. Whenever he or another rat we control enters, we create a 1-1 one, one black snail creature token if we don't control the snail. Otherwise, we put a plus one plus one counter on a snail we control. We may pay blue, black, and red and sacrifice a snail in order to deal damage equal to the sacrificed snail's power to each opponent, then draw cards equal to its power. Okay, so we want rats in this deck, ways to pump our snail, and ways to protect our commander all for under $100. Also, why did it have to be snails? Why couldn't it be slugs, Watsy? Doesn't Toxroll need a friend? But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. Years before this channel was sponsored by Ultimate Guard, they were always my number one choice when it comes to sleeves or deck boxes. Pick up Ultimate Guard products at your local game store or order them on Amazon. Link down below. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy-dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. By the way, I'm taking a break from streaming for a bit while I get a couple of projects handled, but I do intend to keep streaming in the future. So if you'd like to come hang out and chat, make sure you're subscribed to either my Twitch channel or my other YouTube channel, Musings by Danan. For lands, we're running Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Crumbling Necropolis, Drowned Catacomb, Dragon Skull Summit, Sulphur Falls, Tainted Isle, Tainted Peak, Underground River, Sulphurous Springs, Shivan Reef, Choked Estuary, Foreboding Ruins, Frostboil Snarl, Temple of Deceit, Temple of Malice, Temple of Epiphany, Dranith Ruins, Hall of Oracles, Captivating Cave, Bajuka Bog, Five Islands, seven swamps, and four mountains make up the land base for this deck. Nice and budget friendly. For mana ramp, we've got Black Market Connections, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Dominance, Talisman of Indulgence, Talisman of Creativity, Demir Signet, Rakdo Signet, is it Signet, Mindstone, Felwarstone, Solemn Simulacrum, and Wayfarer's Bauble. Gotta cast those rats somehow. For card advantage, we're running Siphon Mind, Mind Whisker, Shoreline Looter, Wizard Class, Prof's Eidetic Memory, Skull Clamp, Deadly Dispute, Village Rites, Dark Deal, and Phyrexian Arena. Yes, we do have a few discard effects in our deck. We are a rat deck, after all. For interaction and spot removal, we've got Burglar Rat, Hellhole Rats, Locust Miser, Nizumi Informant, Ravenous Rats, Refurbished Familiar, Rotting Rats, Sanity Nars, Tidecaller Mentor, Essence Capture, Explosive Entry, Counterspell, Abraid, Feed the Swarm, Chaos Warp, Arcane Denial, Bedevil, Negate, and Rakdos Charm. Yes, that's a lot. 
We're in Grixis, don't worry about it. To reset the board, we're running Crypt Rats and Blasphemous Act. Gotta stay on theme. The core of our deck consists of Azure Beastbinder, Ink Eyes, Servant of Oni, Lord Skitterer's Butcher, Lord Skitterer's Sewer King, Nashi, Moon Sage's Scion, Pack Rat, Vren the Relentless, Wave of Rats, Song of Totentons, Chittering Witch, and Mad Ratter. Supporting our plan, we're also running Reflections of Litjara, Slip Out the Back, Feign the Broker, Unspeakable Symbol, Professor's Warning, Maskwood Nexus, and Tainted Strike. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 50 mana sources, but between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. Right on target. 10 pieces of card advantage. 19 pieces of interaction. 2 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate in Bajuka Bog and Rakdos Charm. 1 sudden eye win card in Tainted Strike. We've got lots of ways to grow our snail, and if we can give our commander infect via Tainted Strike, we could win the game on the spot, assuming our snail has at least 10 power. Now, we don't have any tutors in our deck, but we have lots of ways to grow our snail. My personal favorite one is Wizard Glass. Once we get it to level 3, every time we draw a card, we can grow our snail. Of course, that's not the only way we can win with this deck. We force our opponents to discard a bunch of cards, then just smack them in the face with an army of rats. Now, when I was putting this deck together, I noticed that rats have three core abilities. Rats get bigger based on the number of rats you have, poison counters of some sort, or discard. I decided to go with discard so that if you wanted to upgrade this deck, you could add cards like Waste Knot or Turgrid God of Fright as additional payoffs. It's not enough to make our opponents have to say goodbye to their precious hand, we must make them truly suffer. Are you building a Wick the World Mind Commander deck? What direction are you taking the deck in? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash you can have a video made, or just ask for help building or tuning a deck list. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Dariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Mark, Borgie, Naswin, Midge, Alex, Conga, Aaron, Chris, Robert, Austin, William, Pye, Turner, Triz, Kazaris, and Slack. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Damon.